I wake up again, but it feel like I'm dead I don't understand how you could feel this way I don't wanna move, so now I'm in my head And I'm not sure if I'll see another day What's up guys, welcome back to West Wild World. Today I have some controversial things to do. I have to force feed my mamba as it is gone off food um, from the mite treatment, obviously stressing, necking it out and stuff like that. It is causing it to regurgitate and it's not taking down meals and I, uh, you know, it puts them then through a lot of stress, but rather stressed than dead. So I'm gonna force feed it just so I can get through this month because it is getting quite skinny. And then I also have some cleaning up to do, but I'll get right back to you when I get the mamba out. So this is a little lock box for my green mamba to try and help it de-stress. It's not the best lock box in the world because I just came through it very quickly. Well, did it very quickly. So let's see if I can get her out. She also shed which is very good but she's been very very skittish as of late she's also very very warm okay okay get out of there so as i've said before this is the eastern green mamba she is not a happy chappy today okay. she's musking all over me these guys are sort of known to be more relaxed than that of a black mamba but you definitely can't get complacent with these guys because they still really really do have a potent neurotoxic venom that can shut you down within the hour if you're not careful um, and you know, she's very hot today and very very <laughs> very very active which isn't good for me but I want her out here just so you guys can see her a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful snake. She's not on that point where it's like her backbone showing and things like that. But she's at the point where I want her to get food in. So this is the... I've sort of exhausted all other options. And this seems like the best to do right now. Um, again, I don't like necking or force feeding. I absolutely hate necking animals. But I'm going to take her out neck her and force feed her real quick but she looks beautiful after that shed she looks like she's got all of her shed off oh, beautiful green mamba eastern green mamba that is let me get it straight back in the can she's not too happy today she has a bit of stuck shit on her tail that also sort of but ah, beautiful snake <laughs> um, but yeah, let me take her outside and neck her real quick and I'll get back to you. So it's um, just sunset now in South Africa, but I took her out here so I can get a bit more space with her. Um, she seems, she's not very aggressive, she's just very wiry because she's been sitting on her heating pad the whole day. Again, I hate necking mambas, or well, hate necking snakes in general. Um, uh, I really do think it's one of the more dangerous things you can do. I think, personally, I think free handling is a lot safer than it is to neck. Mambas, fortunately, are one of the easier snakes to neck. Because as you can see there, they do like to reverse as soon as they feel something. She's trying to move forward now. So let's do some of this. Come go. Come back. There we go. Have a nice green mamba. You guys can see her up close a bit better. Front fixed fangs, long coffin shaped head. So yeah, I absolutely hate doing this. Um, 
<laughs> it's not one of the things I enjoy doing. I'd much rather tube them, but I don't have tubes on me at the moment. But yeah, I'm going to force feed her real quick. I'll record how I do it, but I'm also not going to show everything because some people do disagree with it and other people don't. I mean, is what it is. It's a bit controversial, but I want this girl to survive. Um, she, one of my favorite snakes, one of my first mambas that I've ever owned. But yeah, I'm gonna force feed her real quick. Keep quiet because I'm gonna have to concentrate, but I'll get back to you guys soon. Readjusted my grip because I didn't have her well enough. And she is twisting and moving because obviously she doesn't want pipe down her throat. Don't think anyone really wants a pipe down her throat. Sorry if I'm not talking, I'm just trying to concentrate. So this isn't something that you should do as a beginner snake um, handler or just enthusiast or anything like that. This is very, very advanced and very, very dangerous. It's not something you can see. She's very upset. There was a drop of venom there, if you guys can see on the floor. Um, one little mistake from me and it's done so. But I'm just going to slowly put the food in her Let's see how it goes uh, she is not happy at all um, i don't think any of us would be so i'm just going to take out this tube very gently and i'm going to also wash it off because she's bitten down on her quite a bit but you guys can see the fangs of a green mamba there and uh, it's just awesome 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 snake again i hate necking absolutely hate necking snakes but as you can see now she has a bit of a fuller belly um, and hopefully this will get her going until um, the next time I offer her food um, because the next time I offer her food um, I'm gonna leave her for about a month just not interacting with her not taking out of the thing obviously only if she needs her enclosure service but yeah um, I'm gonna put her back clean her enclosure because she did just shed Look how beautiful that snake is. Absolutely. You can see the, the belly getting a bit bigger there with the food in it. But yeah, I'm going to do the most dangerous part now, which is releasing her. If you want to come look, I'm going to release her back into her. You can come over on the top. So put her body in there and then just like that. So you guys can see now, it might be a bit difficult in the dark, you can see that she has a bit bigger of a bulge over there. So yeah, it seems to have worked. Hopefully she keeps it down. Hopefully everything works out. I'm really wanting this girl to survive, but let's get the lid before she pulls out. Danger, danger, danger. I have sprayed down, cleaned out the Green Mamba's enclosure, sprayed down her little hide box. See her there, beautiful snake. Hey, my beautiful girl. Hopefully, aren't too hostile towards me. But yeah, again, as I said, that she had mites. So I had to treat her, I had to neck her, I had to rub her down and things like that. And that's what caused her to go off food. She doesn't have any illnesses or anything, no respiratory infection. I checked all of that. Um, it's just the stress from me handling her continuously was causing her to regurge. I tried small mice, I tried small rodents, I tried small rats. I mean, any size difference didn't want to help. She would still regurge it. Um, she'd still take it, but she, yeah, but she has a full belly now from that um, and it looks like she should be doing good from now on. Just gonna leave her for a month now. 
you just keep checking on it so that you get it stuck shit on the tail. But I'll sort that out. Don't want to stress out too much today. Straight back into the lockbox. Okay. 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 Awesome. 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 Didn't die. Um, let's move straight on to my snarled cobras that have pooped, shed, done everything. Lovely snakes, but they are flipping dumb. Hello, are you are you showing off for us? They usually are super, super calm, but again, breeding season and all might be a bit of an issue. But let's get this one out if it will come out see how beautiful of a snake they are super super nice temperament they have um again snarker cobras naya and alufria just um a different locality different morph than of my normal snouted cobras behind here yeah are you gonna be a bastard but yeah these guys are getting on to being ready to breed um, I'm super excited to get some babies of these guys. Love, love, love these cobras. Nasty, nasty venom, but you can see how sweet they are. Okay. Love them. Okay, let's get your partner out. Okay. They love going underneath their water bowl because um, that snout, that, that rustral scale on the tip of their nose. It's not very predominant when they get to this age, but when they're smaller, it is very, very predominant and they love to dig under stuff. <laughs> love to hunt in burrows and things like that. Um, just trying to keep an eye on this snake over here. Okay. Okay. I believe this is the, f I think this is actually the male. So yeah. Awesome, awesome snakes. Not the best banding in the world, but they're still, Gorgeous animals. They are found in the wild. Um, sorry, girls. Um, they are found in the wild, so they aren't a morph caused by inbreeding or a specific gene that is manufactured basically by us. But yeah, awesome snakes. Obviously, local to South Africa. Most of my snakes right now are not not foreign, but you can see how beautiful they are. Awesome snakes. Let's clean up the enclosure I'll get back to you guys ASAP. Okay, sorry for the darkness. Load shedding in South Africa hit. It's very fucking dangerous, but yeah, fuck our government, honestly. Um, and that's why also why the video was a bit rushed. But you can see these beautiful snakes again. How awesome they are. Absolutely love them. Let me get out for you guys. I don't know how it would look being in the dark here. Hello. Hey. Awesome snakes. Yeah. Absolutely love them. Getting some nice, nice size to them. These are the second biggest cobras in South Africa. I think maybe in Africa, but they've been split to the, the Egyptian cobra and then they've been split to the Manchetti's cobra as a different species. So, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> safe to say that they're the biggest. Um, Second largest cobra in South Africa, getting up to about 2.4 meters, I believe. Um, that's a huge cobra. You know, it's get thick. No venom is no joke either. Let's get this girl or boy. I think it's a girl. Ooh, a little bit hissy. Inside there. Sorry if I'm quiet, I'm trying to concentrate because being in the dark is a bit of a bit of an issue, isn't it? Okay. Let's do this. Load shedding had to hit in the worst possible time, didn't it? Alright, get off the hook. Freehanding in the dark, never a fucking good idea. Eh, but, you know, when am I ever with good ideas, eh? Okay. Let's hope this one's a bit smoother than that. Let's 
So I think this is the male because he is a bit smaller than the other one and they fed exactly the same time, exactly the same meals and yeah, they always eat, they always share, they always, I mean bred up in captivity, they are quite calm for the snappy cobra, especially compared to my other ones. <laughs> you can see the one um, in the enclosure behind me is a bit of a bastard, but Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for the shorter video, but you got to see the green mamba getting tube fed, which I guess most people don't get to see very often. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe and hit that like button, especially if you want to see more from me. Thank you guys so much. See you in the next one.